Hi, I'm Laura Coyle, and in this video, I've got some tips for you on working with symbols in Adobe Illustrator, because they can save you a lot of time. So I'm gonna show you just a couple of quick basics, and then I'm gonna get into some pro tips that can help you work even faster. So here I have a map, and I'm using symbols in this map, but let's go ahead really quickly and look at how we create one. All you gotta do is take some art like this water tower here and just drag it into your symbols panel. And you can just use all of the defaults here. These are fine and click okay. And that creates your symbol. And now what you can do is drag that artwork, you know, anywhere you want to in your project and you can update the symbol and that will update all of the art in your project, which is great. So we can see that something is a symbol instance by looking at this little plus sign in the middle when you select it. And what I'm going to do to edit it is double click here on the symbol in the symbols panel. And then this takes me into symbol editing mode, which is a little bit like isolation mode. You can see uh, there's a bar across the top here. And then I'm just going to, let's get a brighter color here like yellow so we can see this. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put a bar on there and then exit out of here. And now we can see how it's updated the water tower everywhere. So that's how symbols work and how they can save you time, updating one to update all. But I've got some other tips for you. So you probably noticed when we went over into uh, symbol editing mode, we can't see the map, we can't see the rest of the art. So it's a little difficult to actually edit and make changes here that are informed by the art itself. So let me go ahead and tap escape to get out of here. I'm gonna undo my way to make this not a symbol. Okay, it's no longer in my symbols panel. And we'll look at this example here of these little uh, plum colored dots. So these are all symbol instances of this symbol here. And uh, if you wanna select all of your symbol instances, then all you need to do is come over here to the flyout menu and down to select all instances. And now we can see all of them are selected on the artboard. So that's how you get all of the artwork at once. Let me go ahead and, and just deselect here. And what I wanna do is just make something, uh, make a new symbol for this. So let's say I'm gonna grab uh, the rectangle tool and maybe I'll make this one, let's zoom in a little bit here. I'll rotate it and I'll get another color here. Let's go for yellow again, nice bright yellow. And so I wanna be able to see if that's the right color for this artwork and maybe make it a little bit smaller. And those are all things that I can do when I'm looking at the artwork here. And then what I wanna do to update the symbol is drag and drop. So there's other places in Illustrator where this works too, like the brushes panel or graphic styles. You just need to hold Option or Alt when you do that. So I've got my plum colored symbol here. And what I wanna do first is make a backup of it. Cause if I need it um, and I've overwritten it, I won't be able to get it back again. So here, what I'm gonna do is just drag and drop this over the plus sign. And that makes a copy of it here. Okay, great. And now what I'm gonna do is take this symbol and drag it over the original. This is the one that's attached to everything in my artwork. So the trick here when holding Option Alt is to start by not having the art selected, then hold down on Option Alt, then select the art and drag it. And now you see that little green uh, plus sign popped up, drop it, and now I've updated all the art. So let's back out and take a look. Great. That was super easy and I was able to do it in the context of my artwork without going back out to symbol editing mode. Now, the reason we have that backup copy is just in case you're like, wait a minute, I don't really like the way that looks and I wanna go back to where I was. You got that symbol right here. You can hold down on Option Alt and drag it just like that too. So dragging and dropping works inside of the Symbols panel and it also works from outside to in the Symbols panel. Great, so now there's one more change that I wanna make. These dots are too big and I'm gonna use one of these dots right here to make that uh, update. But the thing I want to do first is if I'm going to resize this dot here and replace it like I just did, I want to make sure that um, this is not a symbol instance because I think you can actually have a symbol inside of a symbol. That's not really what I want to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and with this symbol selected or this instance selected, I'm going to click on this button here, break link to symbol. 
Now that just makes it no longer a symbol, it's just a regular shape. And then I can come here and resize it because I really want these dots to be smaller. And then I'm gonna go and do the same thing again. So first deselect it, hold down on Option Alt, then grab that and drag it over the original like that. Great, now I'm just gonna remove that right there and my map is already looking better. So that's a fast tip. Dragging and dropping works great with symbols in Illustrator. Here's another one. So now if I want to change the color of a symbol, it's really easy to use recolor artwork. So let's take a look at that. So I can select an instance of the symbol on my artboard, and then I'm going to see I get the recolor artwork button on the top control bar. And when I click on this, I actually can recolor that symbol, but it's going to recolor the original as well. So I can recolor this instance to recolor the symbol and everything else. So I can come in here and search around for another color, maybe use the uh, color picker here by double clicking on that color stop and grabbing a color like that. Now this happens all the time with recolor artwork. I made a change, but it's not reflected here in the artwork. So when it gets sticky like that, just click again. And now we can actually see the color change that we made. So uh, this is the fastest way to really evaluate your color and just decide if it's working or not. Or you can also grab a color that you may already have saved on your swatches panel. And to do that, just double click on this, just like we're going back to the color picker, only we're gonna go to color swatches here. And then I have all of the swatches here available. So let's change this to the road color swatch and click OK. Once again, it's sticky, happens all the time. So I'm gonna click again on that stop. It's changed, and then when I exit out of here, which you just do by clicking away from the recolor artwork uh, panel like that, then that update has happened. The symbol and all of its instances have been updated. So that's your quick tip number two for working with symbols faster. One is dragging and dropping, and two is using uh, recolor artwork on an instance to change the color of everything. All right, so what if you're saying to yourself, well, Laura, this could save me a lot of time, but I've already created the map and I didn't make any symbols and I have all this art. What do I do then? Well, I've got another tip for you for that. But just one quick break here. Uh, I'm gonna switch to another file. If you wanna keep learning Illustrator with me, then sign up for my email list. It, there's a link uh, below the video and I send out Illustrator tips once every other week and I've got some free goodies if you sign up. Plus, I have an Illustrator learning community. You can visit my website at lauracoilcreative.com and there's a tour on the site so you can find out more about it. All right, let's get back to the tips here. So I've switched this over to another map. Oops, let's zoom out a bit. And in this case, I'm not using symbols. So every one of these dots here um, that are locations in the city of Detroit, uh, I. I didn't make a symbol for these. And so now what do I do if I wanna edit these dots all at once? Well, one way that you can do this in Illustrator is a feature called Global Edit. And what Global Edit does is it recognizes copies in your artwork, and these dots are copies of each other. So let me go ahead and select one of these. Now you can use Select Same. That's another great feature in Illustrator. It's in the Select menu. So you can select by things like the appearance, the fill color, the stroke color, and things like that. So that would work in this case. But I wanna show you, in case you have a symbol maybe that's got a little bit more going on to it, it's a group of artwork or whatever. If it's a copy, this feature can catch it. And here is that feature, it's called Global Edit. So all you need to do to use this is select something there on your artboard, then go to Select and Start Global Edit, and you can see now the boxes around all of the copies here. And I'm just gonna zoom in so I can get a little bit closer to this one right here. And then anything I do to this is going to update all of the art here. So like if I just shrink the size of it, it shrinks all the copies. If I, let's go ahead and get the rectangle tool and um, maybe draw a little rectangle beside it, you can see how it changes everything. Um, so Global Edit works on copies. If you've taken something and copied it throughout your artwork, 
it will recognize it. The times when it doesn't recognize it is if you have uh, scaled it maybe out of proportion. So if it's a copy, it works. If it's a rotated copy, it works. If it's a scaled copy, it'll find it. If it's a copy that has a different color, it'll find it. But if you've done something like you know, an out of proportion scaling like this, it won't recognize it. So that's just a tip for global edit. And you can also find the global edit options um, down here on the properties panel. So once you're done editing, you can either go back to that select menu or you can just use this uh, button right here uh, to stop global edit. So that can be a good workaround, but if you really need to get all of that art those copies or whatever, and replace it with a symbol, a working symbol that you can use, uh, then I have a plugin tip for you. So this is an Astute Graphics plugin. They have a subscription with a lot of great plugins in it. And let's see, this one is called Find Replace Art. So I'm going to go up to the window menu, down to Astute Graphics, and right there, Find Replace Art. And this does a lot of things, but it's the one way that you can actually replace artwork in your document with a symbol, which unfortunately you can't do natively in Illustrator. Um, even with that global edit, I've tried it many times and it just doesn't let you put a symbol in there, unfortunately. So we have to use something like this. So what I'm gonna do is grab one of those little circles again. Actually, let me do that with my black arrow. And there are many things that you can search for or many parameters you can use for, for your search. I'm gonna go here to kind and I'm gonna be looking for paths within the document. And uh, for this, I'm gonna use geometry and just select it as a circle. There's other things that I could select it by. So if that was the only blue of that color, I could search by color or whatever. Um, in this case, I'm gonna use geometry and it's gonna be able to find every circle that matches this. So this one is selected and then I can come over to this little eyedropper and just click on that. And now we can see it's kind of loaded up in there. So it's gonna find every circle in this artwork, um, perfect circle like that, and it's gonna replace it down here um, with a symbol, or you can go and eyedropper um, some other art. But what I wanna do here is click on this little symbol here, and it gives you a menu of all the symbols that you currently have loaded on your symbols panel. And it looks like I have a bunch here I didn't name, but um, here's one called tree symbol. So let me use that. And there it is, it's putting it there. Now what I wanna do is go and do the find and replace. So I've got everything set up here and to find everything, I'm gonna use this uh, magnifying glass. And if I click on it, it sort of recenters my window there and it's got that one uh, circle found. But what I want to do now is hold down on the shift key and we can see that is a, is a tool tip here. If you hold down on the shift key, it will select all of them. So now that I have all of them selected and they're all highlighted with pink, um, I'm ready to replace them. And I can also add, you know, some other things here, more options, but I'm just going to go down here to replace all and click on that. And now it's replaced them all with tree symbols. So that's great. And then of course we know how to drag and drop and change that tree symbol to anything else we want in Illustrator. So that's Find Replace Art by Astute Graphics. And I believe that is now four tips on working with symbols. So using drag and drop is really helpful. Using recolor artwork can be very helpful. If you don't have symbols, you can try Global Edit. That's a great feature in Illustrator. And if you really need to replace that art with a symbol, you can use a plugin like Astute Graphics Find Replace Art. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you got some good tips out of it. And if you'd like more Illustrator tips, sign up for my email list and check out my community on lauracoilcreative.com. Thank you so much for watching.